What's going on everybody, Juan J. Chavez here. We're gonna be making a video today about what it's going to take to be a buyer in this very, very, very competitive, you could say seller's market. Let's go. Right, you guys, so step one, and I wrote the steps here, is what it's going to take to be a buyer in this very, 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 you could say, competitive market. So number one, you obviously are gonna be uh, meeting with a client and seeing what their actual situation is and, and where they are financially. Two, is going over the buyer sheet, kind of like the one I explained last time for the seller sheet, but also the buyer sheet, seeing where they are in life. It's like, well, what's their current employment? What houses that they want, et cetera, et cetera. And that's one of the first key, you could say, items to see if they have enough buying power and pre-qualification to then go on to the next thing, is finding a lender for them to actually make them know what their actual buying power is, because that's one of the most important things out there is knowing if they are pre-qualified for set amount that they want because you guys probably know the actual skills of uh, being a buyer in this market I'll tell them about it right now but there's a certain scale of where certain loans go on you could say certain levels of buying a certain house so after that uh, you obviously have them approved and then we search for the homes online that they, they can afford five we then find them, let's say a certain amount of homes, let's say we find seven homes, right? Out of those seven homes, I personally here at the uh, Chavez Real Estate Group tell the actual buyer, okay, you know what? Out of those homes, uh, go drive around the actual neighborhood and see if you actually like the neighborhood themselves. Why do I personally do that? So I could tell the buyer, you know, go drive around because like I can personally have a good perspective of what the buyer's gonna like at that home, but if they themselves go and check out the neighborhood, then check out the house first, they kind of get a feel of what the environment is in that neighborhood. It's like maybe the home is close to a, a, a freeway and then the buyer is not gonna like you like a freeway. So you first go and tell them, okay, first go check out the homes, see the neighborhood, and you can say scope it out first. Then out of all those homes that you see and see in the neighborhood, you come back with three results of which ones you actually like. So from those three, we then uh, submit our offers and see if our offer is submitted. But the key main difference out there um, right now and how it is on a very, very competitive market, especially for buyers, you have to, have to, have to have come in with a very strong either loan or over asking number. Like I said before, the, the scale of where a lot of the loans are on right now is like this. First, it's FHA or not FHA, it's a uh, buyer assistance, you know, uh, down payment assistance is down here. Then it's FHA, then it's conventional loan, then it's cash buyer, and then a step above that, from what I've seen in my experience, is the cash buyer that removes all contingencies and no inspection periods whatsoever, and they just go and they even pay extra with, uh, you could say, whatever they're gonna be putting uh, on that down payment for the house as well. So, like I said, it's a very, very competitive market and obviously you're having a very honest conversation with your buyers. If they can't afford said home, just tell them, be like, you know, so they don't get discouraged as well and just being very honest and truthful. You know, right now is not the best time to be a buyer if you're not coming in very, very strong, like I said, because there's other people, let's say a home is uh, at $550,000 and your buyer's approved for uh, $530,000 uh, you might come in $540,000, but the thing you might not know is that that there's other 18 multiple offers that people are, are going 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 over asking. I've seen some homes in Arcadia, kid you not, it was the craziest one I think I remember seeing. There was a home in Arcadia that sold, I think it was over for over over 3 million, and then some investor came in, bought the house $300,000 over asking. Let me repeat that again, because it, it, it shocked me when I heard that. Somebody came, buyer, that was that had enough money and paid out of pocket $300,000 over the asking price, which is crazy. And I've never heard that ever happen in, like, since I've been in real estate. So like I said, being very truthful and honest with your buyers to see if they can or can't, you could say, afford said house. And if they do not have enough funds to buy a certain house, the, the good the good actual, you could say, way to do it is just tell them, hey, you know what? You could say, hold off for now. You could say, save up for a little bit more. You could say, down payment. So maybe in the future, you can afford that set house. And like I said, it all goes back to being very truthful and honest. And as our fiduciary do, as real estate agents, we have to tell the truth to the client if they can or cannot afford a certain property. So 
because hopefully that makes sense with this actual video guys i'm gonna be making more videos and for all my real estate agents out there you guys know the name of the game the name of the game is listings at the end of the day and just being very selective with who you work as buyers so you guys hopefully you guys have an amazing 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 day you guys Juan J. Chavez here, you guys. Like I said, if you guys have any questions regarding real estate and any selling uh, of any properties or if you guys have heard anybody wanting to, you can say sell in this very, very hot seller's market, shoot me an actual DM, you guys, or also message me here on Juan.Chavez at exprealty.com and I'll be glad to help any of you guys out there, you guys. Till next time, you guys. Juan J. Chavez. You guys know what I say. Bye. <laughs>